Now, we reported earlier that it's the 75th anniversary of the Dam Buster Rage during the Second World War. And this week, our reporter Sarah Walton has been in Greece alongside the next generation of RAF pilots training with the Red Arrows. So I'm on the coast at Eritrea, about an hour from Athens, and it's here over the sea that the Red Arrows have been practicing their summer display. Now their home at RAF Scampton was also home to the Dam Busters, and the Reds are very proud of that link. The Dam Busters were, at the time, the most daring pilots in the RAF, and I've been with the Red Arrows today, seeing how they become the most daring pilots in the modern Air Force. These are the moves that have made the Red Arrows famous around the world. But learning to fly like this starts in the classroom, and each practice begins with a briefing. Line 098, 278, proud front line to your zero. So we'll actually go through the routine itself, using all our voice commands, making sure it all happens at the right time, so that procedurally, as we go through the sortie, it'll happen exactly as the boss wants it to. Then it's on to the apron to prepare for flight, where this year's newest pilot is hoping to qualify for his official red overalls next week. It's an amazing feeling when I got selected, you know, to follow in the footsteps of all, all the great pilots that, that have been before me and now I've got to try and live up to that reputation. The pilots run through the routine three times a day and monitoring each performance on the ground is Red 10, who's also new to the team. But primarily during the practice uh, and during the shows actually in the summer, I'm the safety supervisor, so I'm watching the aircraft um, I'm keeping an eye on how the patterns are going, looking out for any hazards such as birds or aircraft entering our airspace. Uh, and then at the same time during the summer I'll be commentating the show as well. So the pilots have just landed from their practice, but now the work of the engineers begins. A team of 15 people have two hours to get all nine jets ready to take off again. We'll check tyre pressures, we'll check oil pressures, we'll check hydraulics, we'll check for any damage. You know, there may have been a bird strike that the pilots haven't even been aware of during flight, so we're always checking for any damage on the airframe as well. And you've got to refuel it, you know, you're just like you would your car before you step into it, you need to make sure it's ready to go and it's serviceable. Today they're a long way from RAF Scampton, but wherever they go, the Reds keep in mind the famous pilots of 617 Squadron that shared their home base. Uh, we take off on a runway daily, you know, from where the Dam Busters launch, you know, you've got the old office and stuff in a hangar next door to us from the Dam Busters. It absolutely sings of Dam Busters history. 75 years on, these pilots hope to continue the legacy of the RAF's finest. Sarah Walton, BBC Look North, Tanagra Air Base in Greece.